Welcome to another Mercury Media broadcast. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how geologically unstable Ireland is, our country. Now, um, we've been taking earthquakes <coughs> in the North Atlantic Ridge, which is very, very close to where we live. Um, and there's quite uh, big ones. Now, it's in and around. I'll just show you this here, guys. I'll just illustrate here um, how close it is to us, okay? Just make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, now, that's the effect of the earthquakes that we've been having. Now, the biggest one we've had to date is 4.6. <clears throat> now, anything from 5 to 5.5 to 6 magnitude earthquake is enough to send a tsunami our way, okay? Um, <clears throat> I can't stress enough, guys, um, it won't be pretty. Now, this is a port. Uh, I'm not sure of the name of the port in Ireland, but I actually painted this port. <clears throat> I'll try and get that painted up for you. Uh, there you go. <coughs> now, look at the size of the wave coming in on top of that there. Um, now, that wasn't the tsunami. That was just bad weather. That was just uh, wind-orientated weather um, that caused that there. But could you imagine something that size coming in on top of us? Uh, now, the reason why people should be concerned about this is because the North Atlantic Ridge is at its most active now. Um, the last tsunami we had to hit Ireland was 1877 and it killed quite a few thousand people and it came in on the, uh, the southern coast, if you like, of Cork uh, and it came inland about five to seven miles, okay, and it done a lot of damage and that was caused by an earthquake in the mid-Atlantic Ridge, right? Now we're having earthquakes in the North Atlantic Ridge, okay? Now I've just done a little illustrated map here uh, just to show you what way the waves, the tsunami wave would come in. Now, the red dot obviously is where <coughs> we're having the uh, the uptick in activity with these um, earthquakes. So it's a bunch of islands, right? But they're submerged, they're under the sea, okay? But you can see the shadow outline of, of the islands and this is where the earthquakes uh, are happening, okay? And as I said, it was a 4.6. And we are in its direct path, okay? Um, just a, just a, another little model I've done here just to show you, you know, it's a bit exaggerated, but I mean, that's pretty much what you can expect. Uh, it would wipe out pr pretty much half of Ireland, okay, um, if, if we were to take, a, a, you know, a substantial storm. Now, I'll just put up this other little map here now today. Now, this was nowhere near Ireland, right? This was in Aus near uh, uh, Australia, the the north coast of Australia and um, there's a couple of little, little islands just off Australia okay it's pretty hard to see guys there but it was a 6.3 magnitude okay it didn't cause uh, a tsunami thank god uh, for the people there would have just been um, totally obliterated okay now <clears throat> I just want to pull up here as well um, a little chart right um, of activity of tsunamis okay now a serious tsunami is obviously dotted in red now if you look here to the south of France you can see that there was a serious uh, earthquake and tsunami um, situation there not so long ago now you can see where I'm talking about in the uh, the mid uh, the mid to North Atlantic Ridge there where it's dotted in yellow and white okay and it says there moderate destruction and then obviously the white one is light destruction our small country cannot afford any sort of tsunami, or sorry, any sort of earthquake that's going to cause a tsunami uh, and, and bring water inland, okay? We, our, co our coastlines are not big, they're not mountainous, okay? Most of our coastlines just lay within the water depth table, okay? Uh, our country cannot afford to take uh, any sort of, of, of uh, you know, a tsunami at all it would cause a terrible lot of damage for, for the people of Ireland and I just thought I would bring this to your attention now um, I watch the earthquake situation every day and I'm getting increasingly concerned about earthquakes in this region now there's also earthquakes that can happen um, in Iceland that would be uh, very dangerous for us as well but I'm not too concerned about them ones at the minute because they're just little small ones like 2.1s or you know 3.2s or whatever okay it's the biggies I worry about the ones uh, five and a half magnitude to six magnitude and the birds would be very very devastating to us guys um, I just want people to take